Hello, Polyspecify UK here, and welcome to another video. I thought I would try something rather unique on my Amiga 500 Mini. I'm still running firmware 1.0, so I can still run Pandory. And uh, I thought I'd try something that I thought of when I was thinking earlier um, to run Pandory, then to run DOSBox Core via Pandory, then to try and install Windows. Now, I didn't know if this was going to work because obviously it's just this crazy idea that I, that got into my head. So I'm going to try it. Now, I've uh, sort of filmed little clips on this video to uh, sort of uh, show me uh, installing it. Well, I didn't actually do that, to be honest. Uh, I just skipped that part out because it took ages. I don't know why it took ages because the USB stick is a pretty uh, fast device. USB 3 and even USB 2 should be miles fast for uh, installing Windows 3.1 but let's get into Pandora anyway I'm jabbering on a bit there so let's load up the DOS box core obviously to run Pandora on your Amiga 500 mini you as far as I know you still need to run firmware 1.0 so let's start the core now I have actually preset this up uh, I actually did the installation on a Windows PC using DOSBox on that instead. So let's make it into my DOS folder. I did try and install Windows 3.11 on the Amiga 500 Mini itself using DOSBox, but I kept getting corruption errors. I'm not sure if that will happen to everyone. But I found that uh, the best way to do it, for me at least, was to do it on the PC first and then to uh, make the folder in uh, Pandora. And yeah, as you can see, there's Windows 3.11 on my Amiga 500 Mini. Do you think that's kind of nuts? A bit of Windows 3.11 for work groups on the Amiga 500 Mini. Obviously, it's running in emulation, just like DOSBox. Well, it is DOSBox. It is Paintbrush. Let's draw a picture. It runs pretty well, actually. The installation took ages on the uh, 500 mini itself but doing it on the PC was a lot faster so if you want to use a mount command in DOSBox all you've got to do is type in mount C and the uh, forward slash MNT that's the uh, root of the USB pen if that makes any sense but yet it is solitaire <laughs> you really like a bit of solitaire I don't think I'd ever see it running on the Amiga 500 Mini. Now, the display is a bit jagged, a bit rough around the edges. I think it's because of the resolution differences. But, yeah, Minesweeper works. So, if you want a little bit of fun, just a little bit of a time pass out, why not install Windows 3.11 on your Amiga 500 Mini? You could probably, theoretically, install Windows 95 as well. I'm not going to do that, but if anyone's got a response video to install Windows 95 please get in touch either on my uh, gmail account email or, um, or or reply in the comments and i will feature your video in one of my future videos so thank you for watching and i hope you see you in tomorrow's video goodbye As you can see, even in a Windows environment, this could be useful as a productivity system um, because if you can, you can still save your deck documents back to the USB drive that's plugged in and it acts as a virtual uh, drive. But when you plug that USB drive back into a modern PC, that file uh, is ready to use. So if I say, say for example, if I save something here, I'll just save this random document here. Now, if I go back to uh, MS-DOS on the Amiga 500 Mini, you will see that it's actually saved if I parent the directory in there. You see that? Test stop right. And uh, if you plug that USB pen subsequently back into your PC, that file will be available to use. So thank you for watching. I quite enjoyed this. Goodbye.